Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to be checking out a new product from a company called Elementium and they're calling this the Plasmatic. Uh, there's a lot of these that have hit the market recently and it's a new innovation which uses electricity to basically allow you to ignite anything on fire. So this is rechargeable via the micro USB port that's at the bottom. So I'm going to talk a bit about this and we're going to put it to the test. So let's get to it. Alright, so I first want to say, because I know what the traditionalist bushcrafters out there are thinking, that uh, this is never going to replace a ferro rod. And for the most part, I agree with you that the ferro rod is probably the most durable, reliable way to start fire. Uh, it can get wet, It doesn't. you don't have to worry about moving parts, whether it's going to be broken, you don't need fuel. I definitely think that this is no replacement for that necessarily. But uh, just like the home computer that nobody ever thought would take off, this is something that could very well be perfected and further ruggedized. And I do believe that the technology is just in its infancy right now. So it's gonna be interesting to see where it goes in the future. So try to hang your technophobic hats at the door and let's get into this review. All right, so basically what these e-lighters or plasmatic lighters do is they use a spark to create a plasma conduit between these four electrodes. So the air between the electrodes is then ionized by the electric current and that's gonna create the purple beam that you see. Now the thing that makes the plasmatic unique is the crisscross pattern in the four electrodes. So most arc lighters like this Jobon only have that one cross there and it's a lot narrower. So it'd be harder to get something in between. So I do like the plasmatic for that reason. It's got a bit more style and it does allow you to, of course, ignite things a little bit faster and it has a wider electric arc. So this is gonna heat up to about 900 degrees Fahrenheit, basically enough to ignite anything you could possibly imagine. There is uh, some ceramic plating in there that holds the four electrodes in place. So if those things are moved or altered in any way, that could very well compromise that arc configuration. So it's important that you know those aren't messed with. Some of the benefits of this technology is the uniform heat dissipation. So any butane or gas lighter is gonna typically emit an uneven temperature spectrum. While this electronic ignition technology is gonna create a constant temperature across that whole purple beam that you see. Now, of course, you're not gonna require any fluids. This is gonna take rechargeable batteries. So you're not gonna rely on a fuel source. If you have a solar charger, this is something that could be charged by the sun. And this is what always intrigued me to this idea because I was actually researching this last year and it was before this had come out and I got myself one of those electronic lighters that has the element, the little spiral coil that gets hot and I tested those out for fire starting and they really performed very poorly. It was very challenging just to get a spark going that I could utilize for a fire. Sure enough, a year later, somebody comes along and invents this thing which I just think is a great step in the right direction in terms of supplying you with what could potentially be if it doesn't break or if the parts don't wear over time, could potentially provide you with an indefinite amount of fire ignition. Now, of course, this lighter is gonna be very windproof. I'll do a demonstration here to show you that. The interesting thing about this is that it also is going to give you a bit of an electric shock before it actually burns you. So I would exercise caution when using it that you don't want to get zapped. So if anything metal touches the purple beam that you see there and you're touching that piece of metal, uh, depending on how, the size of the metal and how conductive it is, it could give you a little bit of a jolt. So just keep that in mind. But basically this is going to ignite everything as you see here in these demonstrations. This particular plasmatic product is made of stainless steel. It comes with a 240 milliamp battery and it has about 100 charge cycles. And I think each charge is supposed to provide about 100 ignitions. So that's not too bad. I would like to see that maybe improved a little bit. Either way, that's 10,000 potential ignitions. So that's pretty good. It's 3.7 volts going to light up pretty much everything. Now the price for the plasmatic, the dual arc system is going to range you from 50 to $70. They have a few other models there. I think one comes in titanium. I'm not sure if the prices are 
always going to be 50 to 70 dollars they do routinely have some deals going on but i would be remiss as a gear reviewer to not let you know about the other options that are out there now if you go on amazon.com and you type in arc lighter you'll find a variety of different lighters like this that are a bit more cost effective perhaps and you're going to probably get a lower price point on those of course the signature cross pattern that you see with the plasmatic i don't think that that is had on any of those other models just yet anyways so as you can see with this Jobon here, it comes in this clamshell case, which is actually very nice. I was very impressed by the, by the Jobon lighter, in spite of the fact that it only has one beam and it's a narrower beam. Um, I've been quite impressed with it so far. The packaging is very slick, very exquisite, and you provide it with a small USB cable there as well. So the plasmatic, although less sensational, comes in this little tin box here and yeah, I don't know, it's just pretty basic. Uh, it just has a little plastic covering here. I mean, you could probably use that for a little survival tin or something to that effect. Uh, it looks okay here. So we got 50 lights per charge. So my mistake, it's actually 50 lights per charge uh, as opposed to the 100 that I proclaimed before. I think I heard 100 for the Jobon here. And I think that may be because it only has half the amount of electricity demands due to there only being one arc as opposed to two arcs. So yeah, the plasmatic, pretty cool. I do think that the price needs to be optimized though in order to be competitive. Realistically, it's very hard to compete with a Chinese company which is putting out something like this in a very nice case, clamshell case. And this is not cheap either. I mean, this is, uh, even the materials used in this are not cheap. The design is pretty cool. Even get a little brush there to brush off those electrodes. Anyways, I was really interested in reviewing this. So I contacted the company, they sent me one out to review, uh, no strings attached, so I gotta give them props for that. So if you do wanna support the Plasmatic Lighter company, go check out Elementium Lighter, they can hook you up. All right, so I hope this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching, Canadian Prepper out. Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.